Making a quality assignment in Canvas takes a lot of time and is a lot of work. Sometimes it's easy to forget grading rubrics. Hi, I'm Val with the Utah Education Network, and today I'm going to show you all of your options when it comes to grading and rubrics so you can use these features in powerful ways. Before we look at rubrics, let's talk for just a minute about assignment settings. I have an assignment here. I'm gonna come and click on edit. And it's pretty common for us as teachers to want to put points in for this assignment. And we can have the grade displayed as points. But if you use this pull down tab, you see that you actually have a lot of options. You can have the grade display as a percentage you can choose to mark this assignment complete or incomplete. Students still get the points, but it's not point focused. Either they've completed it or they haven't. Um, you can also do a letter grade or not graded at all. And you can have something that's graded, but you can check this box and say, do not count this assignment towards the final grade. So you want students to take your assignment seriously. You might want to show that it's graded, but you don't necessarily want this to count towards the final grade. That's one reason why you might check that box. It's really a great starting point to look at your options here and decide what is it that you really want to accomplish and what kind of experience do you want your students to have? And looking at the grade settings is a great way to, to start deciding some of those things. I'm gonna leave mine as points, but I am going to show you rubrics next. If we scroll down, anytime you have a rubric, it's going to populate right below the assignment and it's visible to students. And that's really helpful because then students know exactly what the expectations are for that assignment and they can look at that rubric and refer to it and know what they need to do. We're gonna click on this pencil and look at some of our editing options for this rubric. If you've never made a rubric before, it's really easy. You just add criteria and you can add a description and then, which is kind of like the name of the criteria and then a longer description. And then you can give ratings here. And so you can give them points for that rating and then you can label this like complete, incomplete, passing, needs revision, whatever you wanna name that rating. What I wanna show you is down here. So instead of having points show up on the ratings, you can actually check this box to just free write comments when you are assessing students. So as you can see, the points are still here, but you will be giving them feedback directly here. You can give feedback even if you don't check this box, you can give feedback for every single criterion, but this allows you to remove those ratings and put something more personalized in. You can remove points from the rubric that doesn't mean that the student won't get points for this assignment. That just means that they won't see them. I love using this setting when I want to focus on mastery and completion and I want them to know, hey, this is complete, this is incomplete, this got partial credit, you didn't get any credit for this part. Um, and I don't want them to focus on the points. Then I will remove those points from that rubric. Again, they still get points, but they're not focusing on points. Instead, you're helping them focus on, hey, here's where you need to work more. And so that can kind of be helpful. Um, if you're using outcomes, you can check this box so that the outcomes aren't posted to the Learning Mastery Gradebook. If you check this box, then this rubric will be used to determine the assignment grade. And if you check this box, you can hide the score total for the assignment. So if you click that, then it just takes this total away. So students can still see the rubric and they can see their points, but they don't know the total. And so 
You can manipulate these settings and design a rubric for your students that helps them focus on whatever is most important to you. If it's mastery, if it's points, if it's completion, if it's feedback, you can design a rubric that focuses on any of those things. So I encourage you to take a look at these settings and design a rubric more specifically for each of your assignments that you create. Now that you know all your options, try using the grading or rubric settings in a new way to make your assignments even more impactful. Thanks for joining me today in Canvas Corner.